All right, in this video, we're going to continue to explore the Apple menu up here at the top left. So I'm going to click on it. We already talked about about this Mac. Now we're going to talk about system preferences. So if I click on system preferences, this is basically the settings for my computer. Tons of stuff I can do here. Now later, we're going to talk about each one individually, but I just wanted you to see that you can get to the system preferences from there. From the Apple menu, you can also go to the App Store. So if I click on the App Store, it's going to open the actual App Store, and I can go search for apps for my laptop. All right. You can also go to recent items. I love this recent items because let's say you closed a document that you didn't mean to close and now you can't find it. Well, you can go to recent doc documents and you can open the last recent things that you've been working on. You it'll also show you the most recent apps you've been working on. So you may open one of those you didn't mean to close. All right. The next thing is force quit. I love force quit. If your Mac ever freezes, you can open force quit and say one of these apps isn't working. Out beside it, it'll say not responding. You can click on the app like preview and click force quit and it'll close it no matter what. Now you can see here, it also says you can open this window by pressing command option escape all at the same time. Command option escape. Let's try it. So I'm going to go command option escape. And boom, here comes force quit. Because sometimes you'll get that little spinny ball and it won't let you get to force quit. All right, so what I want you to do for your submission on this assignment is pull up force quit on your computer and then press Command Shift 3 to take a screenshot. You can see here's my screenshot. And the reason I want you to use Command Shift 3 is I can see your force quit window, but I can also see your name at the top right. And so look at the image. It shows me force quit, but it also shows me your name at the top right or whatever user you're logged into up here at the top right. So now submit that screenshot for your assignment for this uh, second assignment.